Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video view of the Test Lung brand, their triple lens industrial endoscope boroscope with LED lights on all three of the cameras. You can control the brightness. It is 16.4 foot long. It's IP67 waterproof, which means you can put it underwater for about a half hour at about a meter. It has a 4.3 inch LCD display. It includes a 32 gigabyte card which is already installed for you. It'll run about three and a half hours of using time. It's a nice wide field, it has two side cameras and a front camera. You can switch to different camera views before you take pictures or record. There's six LEDs and a two and two LEDs on the sides. And again, you can adjust the brightness. There's a zoom function for one, 1.3 and 1.5. If you want to zoom things in, comes with a little kit right here. You've got a magnet pickup and a hook that you can screw onto the end there if you want to use this to get something out of a sink. And it has the USB-A to micro USB and a little instruction manual. The built-in card is 32 gigabytes in size. So important thing is the depth of field. As you can see at my finger right there coming in focus. There's different depth of fields for the different cameras. And I tested this out. The front is 1.2 to 4 inches. The side B is 0.8 to 2.4. And side C is 0.6 to 1.2. So keep that in mind when you're looking at things. You can see the wide field of view that it has right here because it's, it's kind of showing my studio camera and lighting. I've got the lighting uh, toned down so that you can actually see this a little better. Now look over some of the basic functions on here. You've got your power switch. You hold that down, that's what turns the unit on and off. You want to keep this unit charged so that the battery doesn't deplete. Because it's a digital switch, it's going to draw energy on the battery constantly a little bit. So you want to charge this every two or three months to be safe. There is a button right here which controls the brightness of those LEDs on the probe right there. If you want to change the camera view, you hold down this button right here, and then you can see it's going to the side B and side A, and then back. If you want to change the mode right there, you can see it has a picture. You hit the mode button, and it goes to video, and then it goes to playing. There's no file right now. Real simple to do. If you want to take a picture, you just hit this button right here and it took a picture. If you want to take a video, you hold it down until you see the video symbol, hit that button there and you get a little red flashing and then you've taken a video, hit it again and it stops. Just that simple. There's a menu on here and if you want to uh, do data transmission, I'm going to show you how to do that later in the video right here. But you've got your typical date and time and date setup, auto power on and off information format we're going to format this you would just hit ok move down hit ok and now it formats it and that's basically it it's a very functional and very simple menu on the bottom of the unit there is a silicone cover that you can remove and there is the preloaded sd card there's a reset button and there is the micro usb port right there you can keep this covered to keep dirt and debris out of there. So after you've recorded pictures or a video and you want to look at it on your PC, you can take any USB to A to micro USB cable or the included one and you can put it on the bottom of the unit where the port is right there. Plug it into the port and then nothing happens until you hit the menu button right there and go to data transmission hit OK and now it's going to connect to the computer and allow you to see whatever is on that SD card so there's the file right there the DCIM which is a typical file and you open it up and then you have access to the video 
or pictures and you could drag it and drop it to your screen and download it so that you could use it in a video or watch it on your screen full screen if you want so that's very handy and very easy to do looking at the file you can see that it is 1920 by 1080 in size and it's 153.7 kilobits per second at 30 frames per second so here in my uh, bonnet of my electric car and there is a cover that covers the engine right here or the motor and I'm going to use the probe it's a really small opening but here I can see the mount that holds it right there I can see the electronics in the back the vacuum right there so really I'm seeing the mechanism that I was trying to look at and I could see it quite clearly in there. So here I'm looking another section of the car and I like the depth of field here because you could really see everything close because of that nice depth of field that it has. So these are views that you would never be able to see unless you had an endoscope like this. There's no way you're going to get something this small into this area and see so much detail. So because the probe is waterproof, you can test things out like your sink. And um, here I have one of those grinders. And I want to look at the blades on the grinder. So I'm going to sneak this down. So you can see an image of grinder blades. Really close. You can see there's two of them. You can see the condition of them. See the sediment in there, the calcium and the lime build up. But it's just nice, you'd be able to see something, and there could be total water in here, and it wouldn't matter, I'd still be able to look in here because it's totally waterproof, which is really great. Now inside your furnace, you've got ports for the flame sensor, the flame itself, the, the gas jets. We're gonna use the test lung to look inside and see the condition of everything inside there. Let's take this out. You can see the condition right there of the heater that lights up the flame. And here we can see the flame sense. You can see that there is some brown and some oxidation on there. So I'm going to have to take that out and clean it. So after testing the Teslon brand, their triple lens, industrial endoscope, boroscope, what do I think about this product? I like it. It's simple to use, simple menu, seems to be really reliable, and I was able to get use it without even the instruction manual. And as I demonstrated, it worked really well to inspect my car and my sink and my furnace. So this is a real handy tool. You're going to want to have one in your toolkit. I highly recommend it. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decision. Thanks for watching.